we're going to start with disassembling the rotor head. We're going to start by removing the blades using a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Set the blades aside in the bolts. Then remove the ball links by popping them off the main rotor blade grips. We're then going to remove the spindle using two 1.5 millimeter Allen wrenches. We're then going to remove the blade grip by pulling it off the spindle. Be careful not to lose the screw. Set the blade grip aside. Then remove the step washer from the spindle. Set that aside. Then pull out the blade grip, which then in turn pulls out the whole spindle. Remove the dampener and step washer from this and set them aside. Then slide the old spindle out of the blade grip. Be sure not to lose the thrust bearing. Old spindle. And then go ahead and set the blade grip aside. We're then going to remove the main rotor head from the main shaft. Start by loosening the washout arms. No need to take the bolt completely out, just loosen the bolts. Then pop the ball links for the washout arms off of the swash plate. You can use ball link pliers or your fingers to pop these links off. Then remove the bolt holding the main rotor head to the main shaft using a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Be sure not to lose the lock nut on the other side. Set that bolt aside. Hold the helicopter and pull up on the main rotor head. Set this piece aside. We will then remove the ball links to the swash plate from the servos. Again, you can either use ball link pliers or your fingers. Then remove the swash plate by pulling up and removing the anti-rotation pin from the anti-rotation bracket. That completes the disassembly of the main rotor head. To put the head back together, reverse the steps that we did in this video, replace any broken parts if need be.